Hi everyone. We're taking a movie of uh, my neighbor's house and we're looking through the back. It's very wooded back here, but you can see some solar panels behind the pine tree here. And he has a second set of solar panels. You'll bear with me. He has a second set right in here. And you can see them up there. Now we suspect this is the house that's causing my RFI uh, since it's a solar edge system and it's we're, we're listening to it quite loud right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pan to Randy who's got his device. So you know a good, a good video would be just actually take a video through the racket and as you can see the S meter and okay. you can watch how it changes as it rotates. Okay let's just do this one first. Show me, point to the solar panels. As he points the racket so this, is to, the no, so this is the null pointing at the panels. Okay. And here's the edge. So the flat edge. Flat edge. That is where the peak is. So the surface is the null with, and the, uh, and the, edge and, is the peak. and a perpendicular racket to the pointing to the, look at that. Let's take a look. It's a very sharp null. Exactly, yeah. So this is definitely the culprit. Yeah, you know, really good, try another good, interesting uh, camera angle. Mm -hmm. And if you can get behind me, we're actually looking through the bracket at the roof as I rotate it. Uh-huh, let's try that. Yeah, where, where you're kind of like standing. Kind of demonstrates how, um, you can see how, if you see the signal strength meter, uh, it's right above the 14.198. Let's take a look. If the edge of the racket is facing, um, because that's where the signal it's is It's facing that second set of panels. Yes. So let, me, let me get a picture of the panels behind it. So you're, you're directly perpendicular yeah. to now, those panels. Now the peak is pretty broad. It's the null that's sharp. And you can actually hear the sound. Look at that. Drops to zero. And you almost can't even hear and, it. And it drops to zero as you, the face is facing the, the, the panels. <laughs> and and what's also important is you do this in several positions around the, the suspected solar edge installation mm -hmm. and then so as you change um, position around the house it should track facing the house all, as you move right because uh, because the the signal could be behind you but by encircling the house it'll you're follow. it'll follow it and you'll know that it's uh, that's the culprit. We're lucky in this case because we're at the back of the house. Normally we wouldn't go in the back of somebody's house uninvited, but we're on the uh, horse trail that runs behind this gentleman's house and we were able to pretty much encircle the house. And if you can watch the, what's the racket? I see the panels in the background and you can see that just fall off completely as he faces that racket to the panels. That's a great device. What's the amplifier? Uh, so this is the, um um, this is actually a received magnetic loop um, from uh, what's this? Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's a W6 LVP's EP magnetic, magnetic loop. loop. This is normally meant to be mounted either permanently or on a tripod. Uh, it's primary or primary use is a low band, uh, low frequency, like 160, 80 meter uh, receive antenna. So it's oh. a received magnetic loop, and, it, and the normal loop that's used with it is a one meter diameter loop. I see. Um, so it's a low noise, uh, receive only loop antenna. Right. It's very broadband. It's in the order of 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. Uh -huh. um, it's mostly, a, it'd be an advantage to a, a low frequency vertical antenna at home. You'd use for your transmit and then you would switch to this for the receive part. Um, and normally you would have a, dia uh, a, a circular uh, piece of coax as the, uh, as loop, as the yeah, antenna. Coax or copper tubing um, or wire. Uh, to form a circle, and that would connect to these two uh, ends here. What would be the normal diameter? I'd say it's 160 meters. So the normal diameter people use on these is a one meter diameter. I see. Um, That's what I've I've used to seeing on like the Alex Loop and other exactly. products. Exactly. The, um, there's a there's, there's a pixel loop, and they all do the same yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, so this is smaller. Now the only price you pay when you go smaller is it's less sensitive. But mm -hmm. here's a case where you've got a very strong signal. So um, uh, you've got still, even with a small loop, it makes it handy. Uh, uh -huh. And it's still more than enough. You saw it, it was like scale of four on this S meter. So it's still plenty strong, but it's a lot uh, more convenient than walking around with a one meter uh, loop. I see. So uh, you, used, you, you could use a wood 
racquetball racket and just put a wire around it. You could, but yeah. you you uh, you actually used a metal one and transected the metal at the very bottom. So right. So the way I actually cut a section out because otherwise this would have been a complete loop and just been a short circuited loop. You actually mm -hmm. want the uh, the amplifier to be uh, put in the path of the loop. Mm -hmm. um, so by cutting this section out, uh, and I did a test, the, these ends... Yeah, the, the handle, ends don't attach don't, to each other. Exactly, they're just in the handle, they're not touching uh -huh. each other. Who knows, maybe um, that increases the signal strength. Um, well, I think it'd have zero effect, actually, because yeah. it doesn't add to the loop's area. Uh -huh. um, so this was uh, this was a racquetball racket I no longer use, so I, I kind of repurposed it. Uh -huh. um, yeah, to be, and now uh, it's a uh, solar edge detector. Right now it's a, now it's a RFI uh, detector antenna. So uh, yeah, well uh, that's and, you know since you can the amplifier needs um, 12 volts out of 130 milliamps. Uh -huh. I have a small uh, um, gel cell in my pocket. Right. Uh, so you can put electronics in your pocket, hold the radio, hold the racket, um, and uh, yeah. find out where it is. And uh, the frequencies for uh, solar edge are usually. Uh, uh, 10 meters through 40 meters or? So they're, they're strongest generally what I've seen on the 20 and, and 15 meter bands. Uh -huh. 200 kilohertz just below the even kilohertz. So for example, 14,198, um, 21,198, 21,398. Actually it's one kilohertz above that. That's the frequency you would tune an upper sideband receiver to. Um, right. So that it's about roughly a one kilohertz audio. So that's actually be centered on one 14.199 and 21.199. So in USB, you would be in 14.199. That's where you told me to listen. I heard it loud as day between 140, uh, 198, 4 and uh, 199. And it's a whooshing sound, kind of like what we're hearing so through your, yeah, you can, your receiver. You picked it up here, yeah, that whooshing yeah. sound. You yeah, see if you it's unmistakable. Through. If you look at it on a spectrum scope, it's got a lot of components. And um, this is uh, definitely great that you invented this thing uh randy because i i heard the signal but it wasn't until we walked our neighborhood here that we uh, determined which house was involved the nice thing is that solar edge is being helpful they uh, uh supposedly re-engineering their system we were still waiting for that it's been a couple of years but um at least when you report a house an offending house they seem to be willing to come out and they uh unfortunately have to take the panels off and use optimizers that are uh, that are not generating as much RFI, and they use ferrites in strategic locations around the uh, around the loop that's created by their uh, their optimizer uh, system. The Is that right? The roof wiring forms a huge loop antenna. So they um, they use ferrites. They use an improved optimizer, which we hope is released to the general. Uh, installation market soon because these things are prol proliferating now it's not a bad product it's great for what it does by uh allowing you to install solar panels on homes where there may be e uneven coverage of the sun hitting the panels because that's really a no-no uh, in traditional uh, solar installations but with the optimizers it can selectively shut off and turn on uh appropriate panels and keep the power generation at uh at a peak so uh it's a good product made in israel just nice people it. just have to fix the side effect of uh, being a transmitter too <laughs> yeah it, and it goes quite a ways we are a good half mile from my uh from my home right now and and we drove around uh de determined this area and then walked it and found this home well thank you very much randy okay sure. and your call is kq6rs thank you so much all righty bye-bye